Hey ladies, it's Blitz. Welcome back to another tutorial. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So we're going to start off this video by prepping the nails. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to push back the cuticles with the cuticle pusher. And we're going to do this on all 10 nails. And do you guys see all that white stuff falling off? That's all the cuticles that are detaching from the nail plate. So because this client has a bit of a free edge, next we're going to go in with a 180 good file and we're just going to shorten that a bit. Next I'm going to go in with my cuticle nipper and I'm going to cut off all that excess skin that is raised and I'm going to do this on all 10 nails. Next, I'm going to go in with my super fine sanding band on the lowest setting and I'm just going to etch the nail lightly to remove all the shine. At this point, you don't want to apply any pressure because you could hurt the client and thin out the nails too much. And now I'm rubbing off the nails with 99% alcohol to dehydrate the nails. And now I'm just going to go in with my tip. So I'm going to use a little drop of glue and then I'm going to press my tip firmly ensuring that there's no air bubbles. Now at this point, if there's any air bubbles between your tip, it's not a big deal. You could just add some within those little creases. So yeah, I'm just going to continue the size. Now that all 10 nails are sized, we're going to go ahead and cut the tips. And here I am just measuring the fingers to make sure that they're even. Now that my tips are even, I'm just going to go ahead and use a 100 and 180 grit file to take in the sidewalls. So I'm going to repeat that process on all 10 nails. And once that's done, I'm going to go on my drill bit just to blend the tip and the natural nail together. And now I'm going in with my CMD dehydrator. And what that does is that it removes all the oils from the nail plate. And then next, I will be going in with my Mia Secret Primer. So now we're going to start the process. I'm going to go in with my Valentino Perfect Nude. And I'm really going to bring that bead all the way down to the free edge. And you don't want to smush it too much at this point. You just want to bring it down lightly. Because if you smush it, you'll just be taking off a lot of product to reapply products. So I'm just making sure that my shape is beautiful. My cuticle is flush. And I'm just adding another bead at this point to build my apex. And now that's done, I'm going to go in with this knife thing and I'm going to cut the acrylic. Diagonally. And be careful when you do this because this tool is actually pretty sharp and you could cut the client. And this is actually maybe the first time that I'm actually doing this technique so please bear with me now I'm going in with a Valentino excite me and I don't want the tips to be super opaque so I'm gonna bring it down and eventually squash the tip and pull off all the excess so that I have that translucent effect at the tip now that I'm happy with the way that's looking I'm gonna go in with my gold butterflies and just place that at the tip and I thought it looked a little plain so I went in with some gold stars as well And on this hand, I kind of wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was kind of thinking it out as I go along. So on the next hand, um, 
you will see that I do have some tips on uh, how to do this design a lot more efficient. So on this nail, I'm doing the same thing that I did on the pinky. And you'll notice next when cutting it, I kind of messed up because I tried to do it in one movement and it was kind of crooked. So I had to go back and add another bead of nude acrylic. So I would suggest doing this in small sections, how I'm doing here, really taking off small pieces at a time. That would really ensure that the lines are straight. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other hand. So now that I have completed the one hand, um, my suggestion would be to do all the nude nails at the same time, just to save time. Because in the first one you notice that I did a nude, then a white, then a nude. So to save time, I would do all the blocking nails first. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating here. And this process is time consuming only because you have to do each nail one by one because if you let the acrylic set too long it's going to be extremely hard and you won't be able to cut it so if you are someone that has a fast setting monomer and you find that it's setting too fast i would suggest opening up the door and making the temperature of the room a bit cooler because acrylic does dry a lot slower in cooler temperatures so I won't be talking much more and I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest.
now that those butterflies are in place, I'm going to go in with my Valentino clear acrylic and I'm going to encapsulate the whole entire thing. And what this does, it prevents me from falling off the butterflies when I'm going to file the nails at the end. So yeah, I just go in with the bead of clear acrylic, pat it over the entire surface, making sure that the butterflies and the stars are fully covered underneath the acrylic. I'm not going to let this dry and I'm going to go over to the other hand where the moon nail should be dry. And now that they are dry, I'm going to go in with a 180 nail file and I'm going to sharpen up that vertical line. And when you're doing this, just take your time because you could cut the client when doing this. So just make sure you go slowly. So now that our lines are super crisp, we're going to go in with this glitter acrylic from Ugly Duckling. And unfortunately, this color is discontinued, so I won't be able to find it for you guys. And I'm just filling in that space that we had left. And these nails, guys, are time consuming. It took me uh, about two hours to do these sets. So I know some of you guys think nails are expensive, but depending on what you do, nails can be expensive. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding what you're doing on your nails. So here I'm just completing the last nail. I'm just patting that glitter into place, making sure it's flush down to that crease. And then I'm going to go back and file all 10 nails. After filing, I'm going to go in my carbide bit just to smooth out the surface. just to smooth out any of those scratches in the nail and next I'm gonna go in with alcohol just to take off all the dust that's remaining on the nail and then next we're gonna apply our ugly duckling top coat and I really like this top coat it is super shiny and I absolutely love the size of the brush it's like the perfect size ever and I just find it does every single nail size just perfectly So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I explained everything very well. If I didn't, just let me know in the comment section below how I could improve these videos. Just feel free to let future. me know what the video you want to see next. And there you have it. Encapsulated butterfly nails with the acrylic blocking technique. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And visit me on all my social platforms.